Hello everybody and welcome back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin and today we are going to do something we haven't done in a very long time. Before we get started, if you missed last episode, we went ahead and conquered an ocean monument and were severely disappointed by the lack of sponges. I checked all of the sponge rooms and I even dug into them and there was just no sponges to be found in there. And remember, please leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and friday with random streams and videos strewn throughout now if you're wondering what we are doing today uh if you're an old time viewer you may know if you're a new viewer let me catch you up this actually isn't the only world that i have in this series i have actually gone ahead and merged two worlds that were previously two series so i have this and another and i go between them by way of nether portal that you know i've done a few little tricks here and there too so today we are going to be doing a quick project in my other back to beta days world so without further ado let's head into the other world ah oh well it has been quite some time since we've been in this world but still looks just as good as when i left it so if you are a new viewer, as I said in the last clip, this is my other world uh, from my two series that I used to post on my channel. Uh, this was the original Back to Beta Days world where I took more of a old school, like man cave ethos lab approach to things in this world. So as you can see, we have our basic, you know, little cave area up there is, you know, uh, a section to my house, but before we get up there, I'm going to go ahead and walk up here and take the minecart up to the house that I thought we were going to use as my main house. Now, this was before I kind of knew what I wanted to do with this world, but now that I know what I want to do with this world, uh, <laughs> we've got you know, a more of a sense of direction and kind of a theme that we're going to follow. Now back down into the cave, we'll go up here and get to my uh, water elevator and we can uh, kind of do a recap of where we left off because it has been quite some time since we've been in this world. So if you're new here, this is my storage room. Let me give you a quick tour. Uh, this is my utility area. It's kind of just like, um, oh, hello, sir. Actually, you know what? I have this. Yeah, now you're on fire. Oh, okay. It's kind of my utility area. I have all my work stuff next to uh, my work bed so that if I'm doing stuff and working down here in the little cave, uh, which is over here, um, I can just, you know, grab a quick nap, grab some shut eye. If I come up here, we've got the staircase. This is these. <laughs> this is still under construction. That goes up to my kitchen and a little balcony area overlooking the main village that we actually will be working on today. Uh, so that is what we're going to be doing. But continuing the tour, I've got this little area, you know, nice little modern house look. My kitchen, I've got my food, just some silly little things. Over here is going to be my office, um, just kind of like a hangout area, you know, get a good view of the surrounding area. Coming up here, we've got my, uh, well, area. I think I have an idea for what I'm going to do on this wall. So we might do it this episode or next episode. I learned something cool today. Um, and then here's just a little room. <laughs> Over on this side is my living room. Two stories, of course. Got to have the nicest possible things. Oh, can't forget my fireplace. <laughs> and then up here is the staircase to a future area. Some, a third story. And the farm. There's the house I was just in, by the way. Uh, and the farm, which, as you can tell, my house is starting to encroach on it a little. Uh, which leads me to the next point. Side note, here's a quick little view of my house. If you guys are new to the channel, uh, it's my little modern mansion. Well, little. <laughs> but it's my little modern mansion. Anyway, after, if you look up over there by that tree, there's a large cemetery. Because um, I accidentally triggered a raid. <laughs> the last time we we're in this world and after all of that i decided that building modern like a modern town down here you know would be good we got our villagers rebreeding 
Uh, and then I've got this right here so monsters can't get to them. And then, you know, just a kind of deserted village that I tore down. Um, but back to the original point where I'm going to be building an agriculture skyscraper. Uh, the whole point of that is so that the villagers have food uh, and so that I have a farm that replaces up there and then I can build, you know, my house however wide or tall I want. It's kind of getting getting in the way. And so we're going to start by, I guess, uprooting the farm up there. Yeah, that seems like the most sensible spot or place to do it. Now that I've started uprooting uh, the farm, <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out what to do with these guys. Um, I think I'll have, I think I'll move them down uh, stairs away from my house, but first I'm going to deal with the plants because, you know, they're easy to deal with. I don't need to, you know, corral them or do anything special. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this uh, group of fields. And stay away from me, chicken. I saw you coming up there. Actually, you know what? Get out of here. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, cooked chicken. Cool. But I'm going to grab these and go store them. I know I have a... <sighs> Sir, do you want to end up like the chicken? No, I didn't think so. But <laughs> I'm going to go grab... The, um, I'm going to go put these in storage. I have had a bit of a storage problem recently. But that's all right. You know, I just need some temporary storage until I get everything sorted and replanted. I'm gonna go off of a standard, uh, oh my, get out of here. Okay, you're ending up like the chicken. Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna do my standard design for it, which I don't think you've ever seen because, well, I never posted to YouTube before this. So let me collect these and stop yapping so that I can get my stuff sorted and we can continue on with our building. So before things get too far away from us, I kind of want to fill out a little area and figure out a spot where I'm going to put my farm. I want at least one level to be accessible to uh, the villagers so that, you know, the farmer can feed our villagers and so on and so forth. I don't know if I'm going to put it down here by the water. I don't know if I'm going to put it up there by the apartment complex. Um, you know, I don't know. I'm thinking, though, I should just put it right here. This seems like the, you know, the easier place to put it just because of, well, I mean, it's flat. I don't have to do much. There's already space out here and it's next to existing farm, so I can do some planning, but mainly because this is all flat. Like, look at this. This is really good. So I'm going to go ahead and lay out a basic floor plan. That squid is dying. <laughs> and get back to you on where we're at. All right, so I have a decently standard uh, way of doing things here and everything's not all crazy and unplanned, but I think for this building, I'm gonna wanna have a corner here. Um, I'm gonna go kind of based off of what I did over up on top of there, but instead of doing it horizontally, like it is up there, we're gonna do this vertically. So. I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. There we go. And then one, two, three, four. So then here, oops. Oh, my shovel's a little too, a little too powerful, but, oh, stop it. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then I'm gonna circle this all around in concrete powder. And then, you know, kind of, we'll obviously harden it. But I'm gonna build the first floor. And then we'll, I'll copy and paste the rest. But for this first floor, I'm gonna, you know, make sure that you guys have uh, kind of an idea of what I'm doing in case you wanna follow along. Um, or build it in your own world, because it is a very efficient design for space. I wouldn't say it's efficient for, and I need more concrete powder. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's efficient for, uh, hold on, wait a minute, one, two, three, four, okay, I wouldn't say it's efficient for, um, you know, uh, crop yield, I mean, it is, you still get the same amount that I was getting from that farm, and what the heck, why did I, I don't know why I do some of the things I do, but 
these guys would get out of my way. Oh, wait, there's nothing. We can oh, grab more concrete powder, I guess. Do I not have a bucket of water? Wow, I should have grabbed that irresponsible beaning right there. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to lay out the first floor and, you know, kind of make sure we've got a good idea of everything. All right, so now that I've got this, we're going to have uh, this layer, you know, like this. And then I'm going to put, uh, what is it? Fence gates around here so that the villagers can't uh, get up. Actually, I need to. Oh, no. Well, no. I need to put you there. And then. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. But here I'll have like fence gates or, you know, iron doors or something to keep the villagers out. Well, I can't have. Mm, to keep the villagers out of the higher level. This will be just a standard farm that they can get in you know, to work. But right here, I'm going to build up this footprint and hopefully not misplace blocks. Like, okay. <laughs> hopefully not misplace blocks like an imbecile, but <laughs> I'm going to build up this footprint and hmm. Well, actually, no. And then go get my water bucket because dumb dumb me didn't pack one. But before I do that, I'm going to get it to the height I want it, and that will be, uh, excuse me, excuse me, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, and then once we get that, we're just going to copy and paste this right here, well, not copy and paste, but build it up, okay, and then let's see, that's six, so that can be one, two, three, four, perfect, and these two will be, um, Okay, not that. These two, right? Okay, yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> These two will be uh, part of the overhang. And I think you can see kind of what I'm going for here. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I'm just going to eh, do that. And I think I'll also have like, I don't know. I'll do with some design to break it up from just the solid white concrete powder look but excuse me thank you the solid white concrete powder look but for now i'm just going to fill these out and yeah i mean we're just going to build it up to six and have the fifth block uh or the one right there be the layer for the lighting and then here will be the layer for the dirt and the farm above all right so this is what we've got so far uh well it doesn't look like much right now but if i come down here you can see that we have the um i guess the functional side of things laid out and obviously i need to keep the concrete walls up or else you know <laughs> I need to build those first because those, well, it's the concrete. Um, you know, we'll add the decorations later. But here, you know, we have kind of the layout of what everything's going to look like. So farm here, uh, lobby, I guess, storage area right here, and elevators right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, well, I guess I can try and start filling this section in because... I'm going to have to build this like an actual um, skyscraper because, uh, well, <laughs> I mean, oh, okay, I guess that's the six. Yep. But I'm going to have to build this like an actual skyscraper because, well, look at, I mean, look at it. We need, actually, so wait, I shouldn't waste my time with this. I should go ahead and put these up right here. So that, you know, it makes more sense. <laughs> uh, that sentence did not make sense, but, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, let's see. Boop. Boop. Yeah. I should fill these in. Um, excuse me. Oh, rude. Okay, well, I guess I need that one. Um, but yeah, we're going to build this, like, a uh, real skyscraper. Sorry. Uh, this little ADHD moment there <laughs> we're gonna build it like a real skyscraper and that we're gonna do each level uh let the concrete harden do each level let the concrete harden and so on and so forth now i'm probably going no i'm definitely going to have to go get more concrete but what i'm thinking is a miscellaneous farm 
wheat, like wheat, carrots, potatoes, and then actually, well, no, I can have, huh? I was going to say, I can have this be like wheat or something. And then that be carrots, potatoes, beetroot, and then pumpkins and melons. Um, I don't know. We'll have to check. But before I get any further, I'm going to have to go get my water bucket and harden all the concrete. So I'll do that and keep building. And yeah, I'll just give you more updates as I go along. Now, quick tip if you're new to my videos or just new to Minecraft in general. The best way, I think, to harden concrete when building a modern... Uh, structure in survival like this is to just do this it saves time and you know i mean well it clears a lot around you so if you have a bunch of grass near it you don't have to worry about uh stinky grass around your build <laughs> but yeah just a quick a quick little thing a little note from beanin a little thing i practice here oh give me that come back here ah. okay so I have finished the first level and begun the second level. Uh, so now we have the communal farm down here, or what will be the communal farm. Ignore that. I'm going to grab my silk touch pickaxe. We have, oh no. <laughs> we have the outside shell and the farming area. I always build these up like this. Um, you know, it just kind of helps out with everything. Well, no, it just makes it look cool. I don't know. It doesn't really do anything to help at all, but... I'm basically just going to copy and paste this format, you know, all the way up. I don't know how many stories I'm going to go. Oh, and I just noticed I forgot these two right here. Let's make sure I didn't make that mistake over here. Nope, we're good. Um, but I'm going to copy and paste this format all the way up until, well, I don't need, like, a farm. <laughs> I think right here will be fine um, to have... You know the villager farms i'm gonna take these out and we're gonna build like a whole city so let me go grab some more materials and just keep on building and i'll let you know once we oh no do i have flint and steel <laughs> hold on these guys are always causing me trouble let's get that guy let him burn oh no you know i have all of these guys coming in Oh no! Oh, I don't have any arrows. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sirs, sirs, I'm sure there's a a flamey way that we can do this. We can solve this. Oh, they're right behind me, aren't they? Okay. Ow! I don't have time. Actually, they're not really doing much to me. You get out of here. Haha, <laughs> you missed. I just need to get rid of this guy. Stop it. Ow! Okay, okay, stop it. Nope. <laughs> you can't see me. Ow! What? Oh, thank God. Okay. Now that I got that, I can get these bozos out of the way. You and your dumb little posse always coming and ruining my village. Yeah. Look at that. You killed your friend. How do you feel? Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I'm going to need to pick a different uh, color for the sub. Or the, like, after these three. I'm gonna I'm gonna change up the color for the next building because I got white stone uh dark oak white stone dark oak white stone dark oak you know it's gonna get kind of annoying <laughs> to look at so I need to I need to do that uh, sir you can go there thank you let's take a nap and then what the it is night oh my gosh if this is that's the one downside about shaders. It's like, oh, this is night. No. <laughs> I just, you know, there we go. But yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to have to go collect more concrete powder. I think I just need to collect sand. Let's see. Because I've got, no, nope. I've got 
a ton of gravel. Yeah, look at that. I got four stacks of 64. So I'm just going to need to go get four stacks of 64 sand and some more bone meal turned into white dye. And then that should be fine. So I'm going to do that. And honestly, I'm just going to keep building. And once I kind of get to the more, I guess, finished section of everything, I'll... I will catch you guys up and we can start replanning and doing our farm over overhaul gosh quick progress update i'm about well three floors in and i think i need to get six floors in total so i need three more but i also need to go grab some <clears throat> gravel which actually oh wait there's a ton right here which is good i had to switch out my shovel because uh well fortune three on a shovel just kind of stinks <laughs> and if i can get gravel at the bottom of a river that'll be fine with me because well who's gonna miss it a and it's very easy to find down here so I'm gonna keep digging all this and then uh once i get the shell finished um you know we'll continue on with building it this shell is, this is all just concrete and dirt. Like, I still have, you know, the planting to do the, um, I guess, decorations. I have, well, not decorations, but, you know, adding details to the building itself. Um, I don't think we want just a big square. Is that a square? Well, a big rectangle of white concrete. I mean, it does look kind of nice. But, you know, <laughs> We'll just, I don't know. We'll have to go. You know what? I think I'm going to try and find a, oh, shovel. Come here. But yeah, we'll just have to figure out, you know, the details to add. So not going to spend too much time recording myself collecting uh, resources just because that's boring. I just wanted to give a quick and simple update and kind of yap for a bit. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, my specialty now. I do need to find uh more kind of stony shores because i think i'm I, I i can't remember if i've kind of depleted the gravel here um but yeah this concrete this concrete isn't cheap so if i can find gravel flats well there are gravel flats in the nether but if i can find like a gravel stony shore that would be awesome i guess it's called a gravelly shore I don't know, whatever, whatever it may be called, but yes. All right. I have finally not finished, <laughs> but I think I'm on like the fifth floor. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So after this one, I got one more floor to go and then we can start working on the uh, kind of the details, you know, making it, making it look a little different. I think I'm going to put some a little depth right there um don't know what i'm gonna do for here but you know what honestly i don't really i don't know it's like i think i'm gonna be fine just with a little bit of detail on that side and on the other side and then on the roof um because this is a tall building <laughs> like if we come up over here um well i mean you can see how tall it is it's got to be six floors because that bottom floor is wait a minute does it have to be six floors hold on i might be almost done uh let me see okay um boom okay well i, I mm. let's see one two three four five okay so it does have to be six because i do want my sugarcane farm um in that building too i don't know where i'm gonna put it but i don't know <laughs> we're slowly building our little skyline right here i mean look at that that's that's a big building and that's that's pretty low so like whew. but i need some more concrete um this is how do you say a lot of concrete uh, where did could have sworn that I had more gravel 
I suppose not. So I may have to oh, head out for another trip to get more resources. I tell you, this is this this building is it's a lot. <laughs> it's very expensive. Twenty eight. Well, I don't know. We'll see how I can do because I do remember uh, how I'll do with this amount. Twenty eight times eight. I mean that's a lot, but. Uh, I'm gonna need more gravel. Okay. Let's take care of this. Well, would you look at that? I can see the top of the building from down in my uh, sand pit. I'm just grabbing a few pieces here and there to get, you know, enough. But I think this should get me to the finish line. I mean, look at how big, that's a big building. <laughs> that 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 is a big building. I. I think next episode I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to Riverton and go conquer some more uh, ocean monuments because well this one this this was just whoop, ugh, lots of building I mean it's worth it it's gonna be worth it in the end but like I don't know <laughs> oh, it's just so much <laughs> but that's all right. You know, as long as I'm able to have a farm and finish this build tonight, it is a little late here, but you know, I just, it's a weekend. I can sleep in a little tomorrow, so I'm not too worried about, you know, when I'm going to finish and when I'm going to have this uploaded. I still got to edit it, but you know, editing's not horrible. Um, oh yes, I got to go down here. This is where the remainder of my bone meal should be. I don't know how much is down here. Only 10. Or oh, 11. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's kind of stinky. 12 times 8. Uh, 90 something? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, though. I was like, it felt like 90 something. Um, anyway, die anyway. No? Okay, well. Click on the sign. I uh, guess I'll just let that go and then see where this gets me. Oh, let me grab some glass while I'm on the way, too. But I'm going to finish up this last floor and then we should be good to do details and plant the farm and wrap everything up. All right, I've done it. Well, not fully. I still have to fill those in with dirt, but all six floors are done and now we can begin on the process of filling in our elevator shafts. I think these are, this is, ooh, this is gonna be the most intensive part. Um, but all it is is just going up like this and then mm, I'm gonna have to fix this here. Uh, oh yes, and I am also going to have to put um, the floor blocks in on each floor. But until then, we're gonna do this first just because, you know, well, <laughs> we need to do this because, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have water elevators, obviously up to my floors but the annoying thing with water elevators that i found is when you use like soul sand and magma um blocks it's kind of uh, like you can only use it going down <laughs> so i have to go all the way up oh i have to go all the way up and then all the way back down or i have to go all the way up and then go to each floor that i want so there we go let me grab all that it's a little bit of, you know, just odd. <laughs> so I'm going to go grab uh, dirt and floor materials and then go fill this out. And then we should be good to start planning and take care of our water elevators. But I'm going to finish up the inside before I move to the outside. For the flooring materials, I'm just going to use oak wood. I forgot that I had an entire village inside of... Uh, the double chest over there by the farm. So 
Just gonna use that and fill up the floors. And I do have some dirt with me, but I might need more. But for now, I'm just gonna fill out what I can. And then I can go get the water and start filling out my farms. And then we can do the exterior, uh, which is just adding stone slabs to my roof. And um, what's it called? Uh, stone slabs to my roof and, ah, yes the uh, dark oak wood around these windows right here. Sorry, it took me a while to think of that. And then also, um, you know, taking care of the water elevators, but I can do that off screen, honestly, or off camera. All right, I have completed the interior. As you can see, we have some lights uh, lighting up some of our uh, <laughs> farm areas, just enough, you know, to not be pitch black in the building but now we have to start the ascent up to the roof where we're going to put slabs on now i know that these slabs aren't really necessary uh because nothing's gonna fall down on me <laughs> and nothing's gonna be able to shoot at me from here but you know it's one of those things where we need to uh, go for the look you know <laughs> Um, as you can hear, we've got the water um, in our elevator shafts. I need to go get bone meal and uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, kelp from the ocean so that we can, you know, have elevators. I have the blocks that I need and then I'll be able to plant my stuff. So, oh, that was a weird speech thing. I'll be able to plant my stuff. And we can carry on from there. Um, I think after that, we'll be able to wrap things up here. This has been a very long video behind the scenes. Um, I'm going to have to see how far it comes out to once I'm done editing. But yeah, I'll do a rough estimate and then cut some stuff out. Just finishing up this last little bit here. We're on the very top floor of the farm building. And we're putting our sugar cane in right now. Hold on. Let's get a, a torch or two up here. So it's not horribly dark. <laughs> I was going with lanterns, but... Eh. I might have to use some glowstone, but I do have a lot of that. But I mean, this building is... It's going to be a little bit of a work in progress. I've finished the majority of it, and... You know, it's capable of growing. I've got the water elevators somewhat working, but as you can tell, their functionality only goes to about, well, yeah, you know, their functionality only goes so far. Now, this last level is just going to be kind of an amalgamation of crops where, you know, I can plant these seeds for the villagers and I do not need two torches on my or two sets of torches on my hot bar there we go but we're finally able to kind of oh wait yeah okay I was gonna say we're finally able to start wrapping things up here the building is done this took a lot longer than I thought <laughs> it is it is what like one oh my gosh it's 108 in the morning that is absolutely crazy but luckily we're able to do it so I'm gonna oh that's gonna be weak I'm gonna finish this up take a sleep and then we can wrap things up for the day or, well, yeah, wrap things up for the day. All right, we are making the ascent to the top, of course, to grab the thumbnail. Let's see. I'm going to have to get a few because now we have the ABC. Uh, what is it? We have the ABC thumbnail testing. So let's do one from here. Got you. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Now we'll have to... Go down here, 
see if we can't get another angle. I know, it's so funny. I have to get like three different thumbnails now. <laughs> oh, we can get one here. And then we can also try and get one. Oh, it feels like I'm moving so slow. Yeah, that's good enough for now. And then we'll also try and grab one from right. Uh, here. Right. Nope. Uh, where should we grab it from? Hey, yeah, maybe like right there. No, that one's not good. Uh. Maybe that? I don't know. But I think that should be good for the thumbnails. And now we can just wrap everything up. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching today's episode. It took a lot, but I'm glad we're here. We've got another building in the Back to Beta Days city. Um, so we should be able to move forward with developing this world again now that we have our shaders back and everything looks spick and span nice and new. Please remember to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with streams and videos randomly thrown between. Until next time, this has been Back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin. Peace.